In this video, we'll show how to containerize a Java Spring Boot application. The code for the application was written in a previous video. Links to that is in the description below. Let's get started. Open the code in your favorite text editor. I already have it open from the previous video. In your terminal, create a new file called Dockerfile. Touch, Dockerfile. Open Dockerfile. Every Docker file starts with a from base image. In this case, we start from Maven 3.9.3 clips Tamarin 17. We set a worker of slash app. All our Docker commands will run in the context of this worker. We copy pom.xml to our Docker container. We then copy source to dot source in our Docker container. We'll run a Maven build with run Maven package dash d skip tests. Because we're only interested in the jar file, we skip all the tests. We'll then create a second layer of image where we'll copy the jar file created in the first step. Let's add as builder to our first base image and then from Eclipse Tamarin 17-JDK-Alpine. We'll copy from our builder image, slash app, slash target, slash hello, dash star, dot jar, to hello, dot jar. Finally, we'll run the application with cmd java dash d java dot security dot eg d equals to file colon slash dev dot slash u random dash d server dot port equals to environmental variable of port and set jar to equals to hello.jar. Here, we are setting urandom as a source for entropy generation. This is used as a security mechanism for generating random numbers for Java applications. With that, our Docker file is ready. We can run Google Cloud Build to build and push this application to our Docker repository in Artifact Registry that we set up previously. We can run gcloud builds submit tag us central one dash docker dot package dot dev slash name of our project, which is Mophi Labs, name of the repo, which we set to hello, name of the image, which we will set to hello Java, and set the current folder as the context for this build. This starts the build, and it can take up to two minutes for the build to finish. Once the build completes successfully, we can see that our image was pushed to our repository. In a future video, we'll deploy this application to Cloud Run and Kubernetes.